This video shows how to connect your incubator to a CO2 supply. Start by finding the inlets for air and gas on the back of the incubator. Make sure the air inlet is unblocked. You will not connect it to a pressurized source or an external filter. Remove the black caps from the gas inlets. You will connect the gas inlets to gas supplied at a pressure of 20 psi or 1.4 bar. You must use a two-stage regulator to ensure that you provide CO2 to the incubator at this pressure. The gauge for high pressure stage of this regulator should read from 0 to 2000 psi or 0 to 140 bar. The gauge for the low pressure stage of this regulator should read from 0 to 30 psi or 0 to 2 bar. Open the plastic bag of parts and find a long vinyl tube measuring 6 feet or 2 meters long. Connect one end of the tube to the CO2 inlet on the back of the incubator using a black clamp. Connect the other end of this tube to the low pressure side of the CO2 regulator using a black clamp. Turn the adjusting knob counterclockwise until it feels loose to close the regulator. Connect the CO2 regulator to a tank of medical grade CO2. Point your face away and momentarily open the tank valve to blow out any dust and then close it again. Place the disc seal included with the CO2 regulator. Attach the CO2 regulator to the CO2 tank with a wrench. Stand clear and open the valve on the CO2 tank. Watch the gauge on the high pressure side of the regulator increase to 700 to 800 psi or 48 to 55 bar, as gas flows into it from the tank. Open the CO2 regulator by turning the knob clockwise. Watch the gauge on the low pressure side of the regulator increase as you turn. Continue until it reads 20 psi or 1.4 bar and then stop. Make sure you do not exceed 25 psi or 1.8 bar. Brush soapy water over the connections and watch for bubbles that show leaks. Going forward, check gas pressure every six months as part of preventative maintenance. Watch the next video to connect an N2 supply if your model controls oxygen levels.